In this video, what we're going to do is see how we can improve the look of the redshift glow or bloom. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So what we're going to be doing is taking a look at bloom in a little bit more depth, seeing how we can create something that looks a little bit better and is a little bit more usable uh, without having to go into After Effects and doing the glow there. Now, that being said, I do still recommend that. I do think you get a better result. And if you do need to make changes to it, you don't have to come back into Cinema 4D or Redshift and re-render. That being said, it is nice that we can get more out of this because if for whatever reason you're not going into After Effects or just need a quick glow, um, this can be uh, a great way to achieve it. And just to kind of get to the nitty gritty, um, all I'm really doing here is using a color correct and adjusting the gamma which is what's giving me a little bit more control here. Now, there is kind of uh, a, something happening between the threshold value here, the color, value we have how bright it is as well as that gamma so there is a little bit of kind of um you know experimentation to get something right that looks good and that's where i think after effects can still be a better option if you absolutely need to have specific colors or if you're working with an image um where you know the colors aren't gonna uh be able to change much um, or have as much control from like we do say using a ramp or a color node here but let's start from scratch and see how we can do this. I'll switch to a new camera and hide those objects and um, get ready uh, to go here. So our new objects right here, our materials already been applied. And I'm gonna start with just a color um, node. So that way I could adjust the base color as well as the emission color um, at the same time. And I'm gonna go with something say red. Okay, uh, now I don't have any emission at the moment because even though I've connected this to the emission color, which, you know, I did by dragging out a connection, you can see all the available properties, just pretty much everything in here. Um, we also need to increase the emission weight. Okay, and what's interesting about the emission weight is as you turn this higher, say five, you know, the color starts to get more pale, the reflection still looks pretty good. And well, there are also, there's another um, technique you can, a few others probably, that, but I can think of at least one more that's a bit more advanced for doing something like this. Um, but yeah, as we increase the weight of our emission, um, the color of our object starts to get closer to white, though we do have our reflections looking good. And that's important because, you know, ultimately the reflections are harder to change in After Effects. The color of an object, super easy. So that's why, you know, when I'm doing glows, I care more about the amount of light as well as its color, not so much about the color of the object. Okay. Uh, now, even at this point, you know, what you could do is say, all right, I want some glow. I'm going to go into my camera. I'm going to check override. Um, and then we need to adjust this threshold. And this threshold is kind of the brightness value. It's somewhat tied to the emission value, right? So if you set this to 20, we might, might start to see some glow. Um, it's not quite one-to-one, -one, okay? But it really does start to give us some glow as well as we go above it, okay? And what's nice is um, we want to be able to use higher values for this because if we don't use um, uh, uh, higher values in the threshold here, what can end up happening is other things like bright reflections or HDRIs can glow as well. And so that's what's why we want to be able to use higher threshold values to be able to control what's glowing and what's not. All right, so I'll keep my camera with a threshold of five here. That should be pretty close to the final value. And in my material, I will also keep the emission at five because that should be about where I need to keep it. Um, now what we're gonna do is add the color correct node right here. And I'm gonna drop this onto my emission color connection. Close this. And then replace the connection um, to the base color. So out color from the color correct into the base color. You know, nothing's really happened here. We don't even have any glow at this point, okay? Um, which is a bit problematic because we are gonna get even less if we start turning down gamma. But notice we're bringing our color back, so that's great. And this is where I would go, all right, well, what can I do to fix this? I could lower this threshold a bit. I may start to be able to pick up some glow. You know, one, I wish I could use a bit more of a higher value there. So I could maybe come back 
to my emission, increase this a bit, right? We have a lot more glow, the color's a bit brighter. So maybe what I can do is, you know, pull this down a little bit more and it becomes kind of, like I said, a give and take trying to get something you're happy with, all right? So in this case, I only needed a gamma of say 0.5. I have a, a really nice glow going on here, maybe even too much. Um, let's see what we can do with our threshold. All right, turning it to two immediately gets rid of it. So what if we were to change our color a little bit, right? Notice how we're starting to get some glow. Um, like I mentioned earlier, um, how the color can play into this. So even just using a different color altogether, like green, notice how much more glow we get. So absolutely, you know, higher threshold, um, can, right, can allow me to get that. I still lost that, lost my color. And so, yeah, I could go to the 0.36 um, that I had before, maybe even a bit lower um, to achieve that. Though I think this emission is a little bit higher as well. So it's all a balancing act here, right? Now my threshold's way too high. So it, you know, it really becomes trying to figure out what's going to work best here. I can turn that green up a little bit more, right? We can see what colors work. Yellow works pretty well. Blues work pretty well. The dark blues, maybe not so much, you know, purples, right? So warmer colors do have a bit of an issue though, well, with the exception of yellow. So that's where it can be a bit tricky. You know, maybe we do want to try and go a bit higher with the gamma, do something like that, push the emission a little bit more. All right, so now we're up to eight. Maybe we can even go higher because we still have the, the color. And that's what I'm kind of basing this off of. That's pretty close. All right, we'll call that good. And now maybe lower my threshold a bit more. So two, a little bit better, and we're starting to get that glow back, okay? So yeah, maybe let's try 0.35 like I had with the green. Let's try a little bit more emission. You know, what point am I happy with the color? Well, I'm pretty happy with this color and I have an emission um, weight of 20. Threshold is still at two, so maybe I could get that up to three. What do you know? It goes right away. So let's try increasing this again. I'm at 40, lots of glow. Color may be a bit off, so let's try 30. Okay, well, it would help if I could type this in right. 30, starting to get there. Okay, threshold still at three. So that's what, um, you know, kind of the process to go through. And once again, if I use some of those other colors, we can see it looks more like some of those glows we don't want. But even now, our dark blue is working pretty good. All right, pink and purple. It's really just still that red that is you know, kind of the last holdout there. And you can see we're able to get some really nice clothes. In fact, with a lot of these, I probably would turn up the threshold um, a little bit more, okay? So overall, that's the technique. Use the color correct, adjust the gamma, balance that with the uh, amount of emission, the emission weight, as well as the threshold in the camera. And ideally, we get this you know, for, far enough away from one to where we don't pick up glows or blooms from objects or HDRIs that we don't want. That's going to do it for this video. If there's anything else you would like to see, please leave me a comment down below. And if you could also like this video as well as subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate that as well. And until next time, take care.